Hello folks, I'm Mel the Train Tutor and back with another BTS, yes behind the scenery. And as you can see, I'm not in the studio today, I'm actually outside because it is glorious. And what I mean by glorious is it's a nice comfortable 20 degrees, it's slightly overcast with occasional sun which is beautiful British weather because we don't do well in the heat and I don't do well in the heat. But I thought we'd have a little bit of a change for an our natter and show you where I actually work while we talk. Now, this isn't going to be a long chat because I'm just touching base because the, the studio is actually rammed. And what I mean by rammed is I've got a metric ton of terrain in the studio on the go. I've got let's makes, I've got pretty much the entire volcanic series on the go. So volcanoes are done and that sort of stuff. We're already onto fissures and a couple of guys are walking past, so I'll just carry on talking. So we've got the fissures done, lava pools, volcanic rocks and a whole load more. So. I'm really getting back into the let's makes and I'm enjoying it guys, if you know what I mean. It's been really good. So, I haven't got much to talk about other than it's like scheduling more than anything, I suppose. I've been thinking a lot about the issues I've been having with getting back on the channel. And in all honesty, the biggest issue is, yeah, I can come in, I can do the content and I'm enjoying it and I'm back in the saddle and clearly, yeah, we can see, yeah, a few months ago, I was in a position where I didn't even think I'd be able to do videos again. And already people are sort of commenting on the videos. It's like it's the old Mel again. You know, we've got the editing in down. I've got the two cameras down. That's all working. I'm getting in the studio. But what happens is if my life takes a bump, if my health takes a bump or the UK takes a bump like a heat wave, it knocks everything off. Yeah. And so what I've been doing mainly is working on getting ahead of myself with the let's makes. Yeah, specifically the volcanic stuff. So with that in mind, yeah, I've done a load of videos and you're gonna be getting a massive of them, but hopefully it should put me like, I'm hoping four weeks ahead content wise, which means I've got time to concentrate on the more interesting stuff, i.e. the Burma build and all that sort of stuff. Now, I came out here because it was nice and quiet and the moment I come out here to start recording, it gets busy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, they're my friends. But what we'll do is let me show you around Spode Works a little. Yeah, and we'll have a little wonder while we know. Ah, yeah, so, right. Very quickly, yeah, that is the studio entrance up there, or specifically, in fact, I'll show you where my studio is. Turn around. Okay, this is the Spode Works site. Yeah, and it's a 10 acre site. Yeah, slap bang in the centre of Stoke-on-Trent, in the centre of Stoke Town, in Stoke-on-Trent. Now if I bring it round, yeah, that building is the studios, that's the studios, and if you look right up there, into that far window, yeah, that's my watch, that's my studio, right up in that corner. Now that there, that big beast, that's Jebediah Spode's house. Why is this sort of kilted? Just one second, let's see if I can adjust that. Sort of off slightly. That's weird. That's better. Right, so yeah. That is Jebediah Spode's house, built in 1776. So for my American friends, yeah, that's as old as your countries, guys. <laughs> yeah, now Jebediah Spode, he was one of the founders of, of Stoke-on-Trent. Yeah, and Stoke-on-Trent is a, is a collection of six towns that were sort of started around pot banks, which are pottery firms, and then the towns built up around them and then they amalgamated and became a city. So if we come around here, yeah, this is, all these are retail units. If you look straight through there, yeah, that is Stoke Town. So if you go straight down there and out of there, you are literally in the town centre. So come on. And that's my mate Donna's place. Watch it. She does all flowers and stuff like that. Uh, we've got a tattoo removal list moving in there. They're currently doing up all those buildings. And then if we come out here. Yeah. This is the center of Stoke Town. Yeah. It's not the city center. It's just the center of Stoke Town. Yeah, the city center is actually a place called Hanley. 
Now, uh, the reason we are so, this unit, this place is so close to the town centre is because the town was built around it. This was built first and then all the accommodation for all the workers for this pot bank, yeah, what you call it, sort of lived, the houses were built for them around it. So there's like a ring road that goes all the way around this site. Yeah, now over here, yeah, you've got more of the industrial units. That's where they all use, that's where they used to make all the china, the fine china and paint them up. Yeah, and just over here, these were the old admin buildings. Yeah. Now that is the foundation of a pot bank. Okay. Now, in fact, there's a sign there for us. Yeah. Bottle oven facts. Yeah, you could have write it down. Okay, now that's a bottle oven. Okay. Uh, these, there were literally hundreds of these around Stoke. Yeah, even when I was younger. And they've all sort of, there's only a few left. But this is what we used to actually fire the, the actual pottery in. And so, if you imagine, I'd have to come right far back. Yeah, really far back for this one. But there would be a large bottle shape on top of that and they would go in and they would stack all the pottery inside then fire all these individual fires yeah down here these were all the fires and they go all the way around yeah a bit hard to show you when it's this sort of pulled in but it's literally all the way around them they have these fires And that's what we'd actually bake the clay in. Now, uh, various admin buildings. We'll go on a wander. I'll take you just down the corridor so you can see where everything is. Now it's a huge site. And at the moment it's been redeveloped very slowly by the local authority. And the reason they're redeveloping it is they're turning it into very much a sort of a creative center. Yeah, because Stoke-on-Trent has always been known for creativity. Yeah, it, it goes back to the Industrial Revolution. And the fact that, you know, if you could paint, there was work for you painting China and Spode. And so there's a lot of creativity in the blood around here. Now that's the Spode Tower. Old industrial units behind there is a mass of more of industrial units. That's the China Halls. That's where they would fire the China. Yeah, and then I'm, just, I'm only going to go back down to here and then we're going to sit on a wall or something because it's warming up and that that goes on all the way up there there's a hotels and stuff up there in fact come on let me show you we'll go on a wander yeah so while we take a wander around yeah what's going on on the channel well obviously I've got the let's makes coming yeah and I'm really getting into those on top of that, yeah, uh, I've got some trench systems coming, hopefully. And when they come, it should be pretty good because I'm gonna convert them and use them for the Burma build. Yeah. So, all the way down to here. That building's currently being renovated, ready for the new tenants to move in. Yeah, and then this is, this is the gatehouse. Yeah, we've got a bar and restaurant there. That building there, all of that, that's a hotel. And then right down there, we've got the Heritage Centre Museum and it's open. Right, sod it, we're gonna do this. <laughs> they have no idea I'm gate crashing this, but what the hell. So yeah, watch on the channel, it's going well, guys. I'm getting back into the content and that sort of stuff. And so, I'm really chuffed. So a little bit breathless <laughs> as well. Right, this is the back of the admin buildings, but we're just gonna gate crash the, the, watch, the Heritage Center. So this is the Spode Museum Trust Heritage Center. And this is what the site looked like in its heyday. Now I'm gonna try and find my studio. Where's my studio building on there? I can't tell, where's Jebediah's house? Right, they've got a model over there. We like models, come on. 
So, just so you can show you the sort of work that was done on this site, yeah, the, when I said, you know, the creativity in Stoke, these were the sort of hand-painted, the lithograph transferred work. And then what Spo is most famous for is the Blue Willow. Yeah, now, here's the model of Spode Works that I was telling you about. Yeah, so, let's see if we can figure out where my studio is. Du -du 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 -du. Right, is that... I'm really struggling to figure out where it is. Uh, come on, let's have a look at the map. Du -du 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 -du. Shops. Right, so if those are the shops in the corner, then that's the gatehouse. And so we came up here, we came up here. Where's China, where's China Halls? Right. Right, it says that we're about here. Okay. I have no idea. Excuse me. Just out of interest, where would the Akava Studios be on this? on the other side of the site. On the other side, that's why I can't figure out where my studio is. Thank you, Doc. Right, let me show you some of the other things from around here. You are from where? I, I'm one of the artists from the Akiva Studios. I've been here on the site for five years. It's just, I, I do YouTube and I do videos. Does Michael know you're here? Probably not, but I'm just wondering. Okay, fine, I'll just check with him then. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Yeah, our gallery in here. The Workers Photo Archive. Now, in there, that's the shops. Right, come on, let's show. Where, 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 where are we going? Oh, we go. I suppose society. And let's go down here. Right, look at those. And try, right. Sias Bode. There he is. In the 1790s, Spode was experimenting with a new formula and a process for making porcelain, a ceramic body which other makers were expecting severe production losses through heat distortion and blistering in the kiln. Like I say, he reversed engineered quite a lot. Hey, bud. Yeah, not bad. The work around here is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Right, I think I may be in trouble, so give me a second, I'll be back in a second, guys. <coughs> now, folks, I'm not actually in trouble, because luckily, yeah, the, the, I actually know the watch of the guy who runs the place. I haven't seen him in ages, did, met him at a few events before lockdowns. Yeah, but he's going to show us the blue room with the really fancy stuff. So, we're in for a bit of a treat on this one. Yeah, because not many people actually get to see this, and the chances of you actually seeing something like this outside of Stoke-on-Trent is really rare. So, I'll be back in a flash, guys. Okay, guys, this is a little bit of a rare treat, and for any of my American followers, yeah, if you show your wives this, <laughs> yeah, they're going to melt. This is the Spode Blue Room, okay? Now, this is the Spode Blue Willow pattern, and it's what Spode's iconic for. And I can't even imagine the value of some of these pieces. I mean, you literally can't. The, it's priceless what's in here. So the fact that we've actually managed to actually get in here and have a look at it is a rare treat. It genuinely is. Normally, it's like Fort Knox. But look at these pieces. How far, how back do these date? Um, well... Before Spode, I mean, we've got some of the very earliest pieces that Spode made in the 1770s. 1770s? Yeah, but well, we've got some Chinese pieces that are older than that, which Spode used to copy. Right, yeah, because Spode, what Spode did is he actually visited, he got the Chinese pieces and reversed engineered them. Yeah, it's what he's sort of bringing, you know, these were the two, outside of China, this was the only place where fine China was sort of produced in the start, wasn't it? It was the, yes, Bone China was, was, was born here. Amazing, isn't it? Mm. You think about how many sort of people have worked and created on this site. You know, as an art, artist and working creative, it's amazing. Right, 
So this is the Spode Blue Room. Okay, and on this site and other things, there's lots of other stuff. But I think what I'll do now is we'll just wrap this up and we're going to come back, watch it. And I'll come back and talk to you in just a sec. So that was the Willow Blue Room, guys. And that was a rare treat, to be perfectly honest, especially considering, you know, we're a bit, about, a bit of a bandit call. Now, where we're going now is we're actually heading upstairs. We are heading back to my studios. Yeah, so... Up we go, up the stairs, and then very quickly, if you head through that door, you go into the main building, but I'm through here. So, down here, up here, more stairs, through another door, and this is the what we call the dog leg, and here you go. Good old my place. So let's bring it in. Oh. I'm knackered. Bring that up a bit. Oh. I am. Whew. It's a bit warm out there. So yes, guys, that was a little tour of the watch it, impromptu tour of the site. I only meant to go outside and just show you watch it, the sort of site and film it and do the BTS. So basically, that's the site. That was a little impromptu history tour. Moving on. Right, I've got tons on the desk, absolutely tons. Yeah, fishes, rocks, lava pools, tons, and it's all coming, yeah? Now, I plan to sort of try and get them out in the next couple of days, just so I can sort of hit that patron thing, because, you know, keep things rolling. So, if you're on Patreon, expect a glutton of what you've got content in the next couple of days. If you're on the channel, yeah, this is gonna be drip fed out week after week, just basically so that I get some breathing space. Yeah, and I'm not sort of chasing my tail. And hopefully we can stabilize things and sort of I can stabilize sort of my patron sort of revenue and that sort of stuff that keeps me in here. Because I have lost quite a few sort of people over the past couple of months with, you know, the illness and everything. And I think cost of living and just life in general around the world, everyone's tightening their belts. So, a bit of a sticky situation, unless I can get ahead of myself and that sort of stuff. So, if you want to help out with that, link's down below. Yeah, PayPal helps in the moment. PayPal keeps the lights on, the cameras rolling, and me doing this. So, if you made it to the end of this, you're exactly the sort of people I'm talking about. Right, folks. Appreciate your support. I hope you've liked the tour. I'm going to get stuck in now. I've got a load of content to do and a load of terrain to knock out for you. So, keep your eyes peeled. It's coming soon, folks. All the best, yeah? Yeah.